everybody. Welcome to the Make Code Arcade live stream. I'm Shannon. I'm at Shakao on the Make Code forums. I'm Hassan. I'm at Hassan on the Make Code forum. I'm Joey at J Wondrel on the Make Code forums. I'm Richard at Richard on the Make Code forums. And I'm Vivian at Live Drift on the Make Code forums. <gasps> cool. Um, and as I think Richard was probably indicating, we're making a game about robots. Cool. Yeah. Um, so this is uh, MechMaker, which is um, a game we did in a stream a couple of days ago. So I'm just going to show you what we have right now, which is this is Joey's B-Mech. Um, looks incredible. And you can go up and down to rotate through different body parts. So Ian's, um, Richard's is a produce mech. Um, and then donut mech? Um, bubbly mech, just like round. You punch through, and then it grabs your arm. Mm -hmm. It slices it off, or it grabs you and spins yeah. around. Gross. Mm -hmm. Nice. Um, so yeah, so you can mix and match these, basically, to get, like, uh, different, different, you know, mech combinations. Um, and <laughs> um, when you press A, the mech does, like, a land, and then it, like, does a little animation. Um, so the goal is you can pick mech parts and they will give you different like stats um and then based on those stats um after you press a the mech will do like run like a little auto-generated fight against like a kaiju or something um so we'll see how much of that we can get through um to start with so joey's mech actually came with arms um and they look really good so uh, i'm just gonna very quickly try and add those in so um how we're doing it now oh and if you guys want to draw arms feel free um we need you know more to populate uh so that they're going to be symmetrical so you just do one image 16 by 16 and they'll be mirrored left and right and they're going to be sort of up um so let me new variable arm images and I'm going to paste in the image Joey drew. Flip it. Nope. Cool. Um, and then we have a function up here uh, for creating parts. And this makes the sprites. So each of these is a sprite. And we're just setting the like um, image of it differently. So I'm actually going to make two sprites. Um, and it's going to be our part and arm part mirror so um there's going to be you know two arms and they will be exactly mirror images of each other something <laughs> um right to arm images get value at zero and then arm images um and the thing I'm going to do for arm part mirror is I'm going to um, clone the image. So I need to make a copy of it because I'm going to flip it. Uh, and if I don't make a copy, it will flip. It'll be the same image like underneath and they will both flip. So if I go into the images category, we have this clone. And then we also have a flip horizontal. image horizontally perfect um, and then I'm going to place them so I'm going to set the arm part um, and so the Y is going to be our screen is 120 tall so I'm going to make the Y a little less than it's going to be like a little bit up and then halfway through is 80 so I'm going to do um, try 65 for the left arm and um, 95 for the right arm. That sounds about right. Wait, let me check my arm. Oh, I did this very wrong. No, nope, I said this. <laughs> okay, so a little bit less for the X. Um, let's do 60. 
how much of those do we do? Eight. And here we'll do uh, 90. Awesome, yeah. Look at how cool this BMAC looks. <laughs> um, so now we have the arms. Um, so we have this like vertical swapping um, and I'm lazy. So instead of like figuring out how to do it for the arms, I'm just gonna add an extra like level down here and maybe I'll put the word arms there um, later. We'll see. Uh, but we have this thing that is um, set current part. And it's basically hard coded in that we have three parts, uh, but now we have four parts. So I'm going to change each of these to four. And this is going up, so backwards. So we do four minus one. So cool. And then we have a function here called select part, which actually does the picking for. Uh, so this function knows that zero is the head and one is the body, um, et cetera. So I'm going to add a case to it. And so two is legs. And three, the newest one, will be arms. Arm images, arm part. Um, and then the other thing we have to do is um, in here, well, so here we're setting the image, but since it's an arm, we have to actually set two images. Um, so down here, I'm going to add another check, um, and it's going to be if we are setting the arms, then I'm just going to manually set the um, mirror to the, uh, not this, um, I'm going to do the thing we did before, which was clone and then flip the image. Um, so set arm part mirror image to um, clone of arm part image. Um, yeah, and this um, clone is slightly an expensive operation, uh, but we're only doing it in this initial like designing a Mac part, so it should be fine. Um, I don't know, Joey, if you want to go into more detail. <laughs> yeah, I mean, as long as it's only one or two of them on the screen at a time, it's not going to matter at all, really. Like, this will just get cleaned up pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. If it's an action-packed part of the game, you'll want to, you know, try and optimize it later on. Cool. All right, so let's try this. Um, so, yep, we have this fourth one down here, invisible. And then, yeah, I can switch back and forth between arms and no arms. So, will be arms to any of these men. I think it looks pretty cool. Shannon, I feel like I'm I'm doing all the things you're doing, but on my side to make the arms, and I'm like, oh wow, you know, oh. <laughs> I'm the viewer today. <laughs> I forget what's that head again? Is it a heart? Yeah. Or it's a strawberry heart. Oh, uh, it's a heart. No, oh sorry. Here, let me. So, nice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's great. Yes. Oh, also, if you draw a part, it should have an outline. So we're doing black outlines for all of these. Um. So, yeah, um, cool. I'm just going to very quickly do one so that we have two options to pick from. Um, all right. Great. OK. And then um, I think we are all set for mech design. I will add in arms as they come in. Um, but other than that, we can get on to doing um, stats. Yeah, you know, it's something. Um, Oh, I'll do I'll do uh, one last thing, which is I'm gonna just put the word arms here. Um, I'm creating this text somewhere, and I would like to create. I'm doing it on the on start. Um, I'll do 
ahead and create parts since it's kind of technically a part. So we've added the text sprite extension. I'm going to set the text sprite. Arms. Um, label. And I'm going to set the position of it. Arm label to uh, y equals 80, x equals like. Mm, try 75. Oh no, sorry. X equals 80. Y equals 80 for mine. We'll get down there and then people will hopefully figure out what's happening by like clicking. Um, okay. So then, um, hmm. I haven't really, oh, wait, we have more arms. Okay, let me add these in real quick. Hopefully, we shouldn't need this anymore. And here's our arrays. So. Ideally, I would have the blank one at the front, but I really want to start with Joey's arms. So uh, this one's from Richard. Corn. <laughs> Sticking with the theme. Oh man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, everything looks so good with the corn arms. Um. And these are from Vivian. Oh, wings! Yes. Hmm? Oh, man. Vivian, that looks super good. <laughs> that one kind of looks like a bird with the V legs. This one's great. <laughs> The one you have right now is awesome. With the <laughs> carrot. <laughs> okay. Um, cool. So then, um, oh shoot, the, the last thing I have to do is right when you launch, um, you kind of just leave them behind right now. Um, so I'm going to we have this on game update, um, which is basically matching everything to the legs. Um so I'm going to um, set arm part um, y to legs part. Yeah, I don't. It should be fine. I'm setting everything relative to the legs. Um, I don't know if this will actually like be useful, but um, I think it's good. So I'll do a minus, um, and this will be like minus, you know, 18 something, probably. And same for the mirror. Actually, I just want to do the whole, uh, the whole position. So Y will be this, and legs part Y. Um, and then the X will be the legs part X minus 10. And then I'm going to do the same thing for the other arm. Arm part mirror, this will be plus 10, Y is the same. All right, let's try it out very quickly. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, so um, cool. Then I need to assign like stats basically. So maybe um, the thing I'm going to start with is based on the, well, okay, let me know if you guys also have ideas 
Um, okay, so here, here's my ideas for stats. One, okay. ups. Two, hits. One what? Ups. Ups. Okay. Yeah. That's you got how good, fast, how good you got they can good deliver stuff. You got good ups. Two, hits. Which is like punching things. Three, hit hits. Which is like when you get hitted. Uh -huh. Then four, speed. Is fifth love? Self-explanatory. <laughs> um perfect wait are we are we actually going with these dumb ones i just said yeah um, so i'm gonna start with one stat is what i'm gonna start with um i don't i think it's gonna be hard to like like basically what we're doing is each of these parts is going to have like a bunch of these. So what we kind of need is like objects um, in blocks, block objects, perhaps. Um, but that's going to be like a lot. Um, so I'm going to... Mm, we can start out with just the first like column and just leave the rest for later off stream. And then we can just use sprite data maybe. Yeah. Oh, this, these are images, not sprites, Sam. Yeah. yeah, right. That's the thing. I would love to use sprite data. I feel like that would be great because there's already like a thing for each of these, but I don't really want to make sprites. Because they, oh. they could just be sprites that we invisibilize. Be. We, hide. we did that for Sucromon, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sprites would be a lot nicer than a bunch of arrays forever. Mm, okay, okay, let me think. So we have an index for each of these. So we could do something based on just the index number. So if I did, okay, uh, okay. So I could do a big function that's like get next stats. Um, and that function could be a bunch of if statements um, that based on the index of each of the body parts returns some stuff. Um, is that better or worse than just? I think block objects might be easier. Objects. Because then you can just take make a function that takes in five arguments, and then you can just make an array parallel to the other ones. Yeah, that's true. All right, all right, let's do it. <laughs> oh, oh, it's not built in. Nope. Quarter time. <laughs> quarter, quarter already. <laughs> uh, it's in Microsoft. Okay. Whoa. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I've got an at the end. Okay. <laughs> no, no, You're no, all no. at it this time. <laughs> Genuine quarter. Uh, oh, I have another set of arms from Vivian. I'll add those after I do this. Hey, last oh. inning, you only have seven quarters. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm in favor of quarters. I'm in favor. I, I appreciate puppies, unlike some other people on the stream. Um, so. <gasps> Love these robot arms. <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, so maybe I'm gonna make a function um, that's gonna be like. Uh, sorry, let me look at what my other functions are called. So this is create parts. Um, yeah. Make function. Um, set. Uh, and this one is going to call all of these guys, but not this. Cool. Um, so first we set the parts data, then we create the parts, then we create the arrows. Here's some info about our parts. And, oops, cool. Um, and this will make the arrays, and it will also go through and um, create a bunch of um, 
stats for each thing. So I'm still going to need four arrays of, like, objects, right? Paint empty object. Yes. Get number. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Um, I committed early to not making an array of arrays for body parts, and we are living with that decision. Um, uh, I mean, we could slowly replace them in the array themselves and just have the body part image as in the object. Mm. So just make a function that returns the object um, and keeps in an image. Wait, can I we pass images? Uh, yeah, you could make it so that it takes in an image and five numbers and then returns an object and then you just, you know, start slotting them in. Yes, yeah, brilliant. Yeah, index of to rotate through. So each um, part, oh. like the head, contributes to all of the properties. It's not just like one property for this one part. We um, could just do one. Yeah, but it will still need a raise anyway, though. I don't think that actually saves variables. Plus, then you would just choose the best stats for each category, like in each part, you know? Yeah, that's true. OK, so we're going to start with just one. We're going to do um, um, head, you know, the drives the drives the body um, head stats. OK, and um, I'm going to for, let's see. It should be consistent, right? No, um, the stats, like I, I shouldn't randomly generate numbers. Um, okay. You know, whatever feels right. <laughs> so I'm going to make an empty object and then I'm going to set some numbers. Um, Set number, cool, perfect. Um, so new stats, and then I'm gonna add a new property, and we're gonna start with, um, what was our list of properties? Oops, hits. I'm gonna start with speed. Add a new property, speed. And... Starts with the samely named one. Um, to, okay, cool. And then, yeah, okay, I'm going to make a function. Um, function. What's the function going to do? It's going to return a blank object with all of these things set on it. Um, mm -hmm. So all two of them. It's going to be um, speed hits. And both of these are numbers. So new stats to create empty object. We're going to set the speed. We're going to set the hits. We're going to return the object. And then um, I guess here I'm just going to do a for index loop. And based on the index, I'm going to set some stats. Right? Yeah, or, so I mean, I, mean, I, I think stupid. typically how you do it is you make it so that for each of the parts, the number adds up to the same number for all of their stats. But, you know. But I have to do it of... manually anyway, right? Like, there's no point in randomly assigning it each time you run the game because then you never know. There might be a function that we could do to get them, but I don't know what it is off the top of my head. Yeah. Um, we could use the fast random and seed it, and then we could consistently get random. <laughs> could do that. <laughs> um, could do that. Yeah. Where's fast random? Uh, it's not a block. Uh, oh, wait. Did unsigned Arduino That's an unsigned Arduino for... extension. Yeah, I think oh. he made the extension for that. 
in the chat. He'll tell us probably before I can find it, but maybe I can. Oh, just... awesome. Yeah, yeah. Let us know. I don't know if we've used the user extension. Unsigned before. Arduino slash fast dash random dash blocks, I think. Awesome. Yeah. So this is an extension by a um, frequent forum user, uh, Game Jam, um, you know, repeat appearance person on Side Arduino. Um, and it's fast random. And so this allows us to basically say, um, use the random block, but get the same result each time. Um, this stream brought to you by Unside Arduino. <laughs> Um, all right, so what do I do? Um, random number. Okay, cool. So I make a random number generator with a seed. Awesome. Um, so I'm going to do this at the top um, with seed 38. Good seed, good seed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, and then instead of using the math random, I'm going to use this uh, random number generator, random number between. Um, awesome. And so I'm going to start with kind of just a pure random thing. I'm not going to do the nice, um, the nice uh, math thing that Richard said. Um, so for each image, we will. Um, Add to the head stats the make stats object, which will have two random numbers, maybe between zero and five. I mean, we're going to do a screen that has like a bunch of status bars, right? Oh, yes, maybe. <laughs> Um, I, I thought you would be all about that, Shannon. I Vivian. do. I just don't think we're going to get it done with all the other stuff. <laughs> I think we need a Vivian stream for all the UI components for this, and then we can just keep on adding to it. <laughs> yes. I hate and we'll combine these <laughs> oh, we, so... um, we should have a stream where we just brainstorm what should be in a UI component extension, and then I just make it. Yeah. yeah. That would be great. Okay. So uh, we have some sort of like launch sequence thing. Yeah, this here where we'd land and then we do some explosions. So, um, all right, let's keep going. All right, let's keep going. <laughs> <laughs> um, so when we land, I'm also gonna display the stats with the status bar of how much that stat is next to it for a brief amount of time um, before it all disappears. Um, so this is one, two, three, four, which means it runs for 800 milliseconds. Oh, I set them all to 900. Um, we're gonna do it all for 900 and see how that goes. Um, so here um, I'm going to, yeah. Okay. I only have the head right now, so that's fine. Um, so basically what I'm going to do is make another variable. Um, that's like, uh, I'm just going to do in, mm, part index um, for now. And the part index is going to be the index of the head image. Um, so this is going to um, be head images. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, Joey, if you make blocks for TSX, I will make you a React library. <laughs> yeah. I'll put that okay, up on the, uh, alongside uh, upgrade to TypeScript 4.2 in our priority list. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, and I'm gonna make um, variable seed bar and okay. Um, oh, I renamed it. And then they have labels, right? Hmm? Yes. Yeah. Be 
keep our seed. Seed. <laughs> um, are, we doing, are we doing like ASMR now? We're doing three letter labels so that they all line up nicely. This one's just hit though. Oh. <laughs> um, okay. And then we're going to set the value of each of these. So um, set speed bar. You are, yeah, you got Shannon. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and hits bar. H like Hassan. We need a make code <laughs> dictionary or alphabet book. Yes. <laughs> and then to get the value of the speed, um, I have the index. So I'm going to go into arrays. I'm going to get the head stats value at part index. Um, so that's going to be the stat that corresponds to this part. And then I'm going to, from that, get the number. Um, so this is the object. And the number is going to be speed. Speed. Cool. Uh, great. And same again for hits. Hits bar, part index, number, hits. OK. Um, and then last, I'm just going to do some quick positioning um, just to see. So. Yeah, I'll just do it above and we'll we'll see how it looks. Um set PQRS speed bar position to x equals 80, y equals 20. Um x equals 80, y equals uh, 30. And I'm gonna make each of these a little bit taller. All right, let's try this real quick. Nope. <laughs> Could not read find index of undefined part image. Mm. That's undefined. It's a new Say again? I guess just a debugger to see where it crashed. Yeah. Value of head images, headsets, add value. Okay, yeah, nothing obvious. I'll do a debugger and it should just stop. Where is head stats? Or index negative one. So your find index of for the mm. head images is failing. Mm. Find index of doesn't do it by quality, I'm guessing. Are you cloning it? No, not for the head. Um, I'm using the find index up to like rotate through, so it should be working. Because um, mm -hmm. it's finding the index and then incrementing it to get the next uh, part. Wait, so then why do you need to do a find oh. index of it if you have the index? Um, I'm not saving it anywhere. I'm just finding it. the index, swapping out the image and Say again. Wait, but but you have an index of the very oh, so you're not you're not storing an index. It's just each time you do a find an index of and then do plus one. Yep. I see. That's one way to do that. Yep. Um, what's happening is we're cloning the image to um do some animation on it, and that's making it different. All right. So yeah. So here we go. We're not cloning it, but we're animating it. Um, and I'm guessing that's messing up. Is it? It changes the actual, using the animate block changes the thing that's returned by. Yeah, well. well the animate is in the movement animations should not. It's yeah, not. No, it 
it's not a movement animation because we're moving the rest of the sprite. It's a frame animation that is being generated. Oh, yeah, that'll, that'll... because it, it does reference equality. It doesn't do deep equality by an index of. Yeah, no, sorry. I mean, like, uh, if you if you animate the sprite with a sequence of frames, it actually changes the. Um, yes, the image the itself is changed. It's nothing. It's not an overlay. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna do this all before I do this animation stuff. Um, and it should be okay. Hey. Uh, why is it eight? Look at that eight. <laughs> Eight's the best stat. Mm -hmm. It's better than five. My favorite. Also, it didn't look like it was setting it to anything, so that's not ideal. But well, I've got four and eight. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, right, and then I need to change this, so 15 and 20. Mm. Also, I think you should put a border around them. Oh, yeah, that's probably a good idea. What did I do? What? Weird. Um, that is weird. All right. Did Speed bar. Oh, you're setting the speed bar position twice. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> how they get you <laughs> they being joey yes okay one more time cool all right so it, it doesn't look like there are any either they're full or let me try a different head uh, oh oh the background of magic is the same as this um yeah but if you set the border right That'll help too. Oh, okay, right. That's what you meant. Like a yeah, I'll do a white border. See if that does anything. You might need to move on that. Well, maybe it'll be fine. I think it's uh, yeah. I think it's inset border. Maybe you should just make them all the same kind though. It's kind of hard to tell what's going on here. Mm. I must say. That's fair. Maybe it should be one to five. Good speed. Got no hits, though. Not, this is not a good speed. This is a bad speed. I like also that you don't get told what the stats are at all until you choose. Yes. <laughs> until you Ultimate choose. Stats. Yeah, it's part of learning. <laughs> These are not good stats. Goodness. Richard, okay. the whole point of this game is I'm don't sorry. judge a book by its cover. Yeah. Cool. I'm sorry. Turnip Head only has four, only has three hits. <laughs> three hits is more than like like most of the other heads in here. A lot of them have zero. This one is two. Yeah, zero hits. And this one's also zero. This is hard. This purpose. one's about love. That's true. Sure hope it gets a <laughs> um, Okay, cool. Um, we have 15 minutes left. Um, so I'm going to use these two stats, which we've saved. Um, oh, right, and the other thing I'm going to do is um, destroy the status bars after some amount of time. So set lifespan. In the same properties block as everything else. Yes. Mm. And how old were you when you piloted your first mech? 
Oh, they get you in there, you know, it has to be like a teenager. That's the prime mech piloting time. Yeah, I think that was true for me too. When you're a teenager, mm. isn't that late? I thought it was like as soon as you can start to talk, just like a language, you got to pick it up. You can talk <laughs> with your mech. Yeah, and they put you on those voice activated mechs. They're hard. They're tough to control, though, you know. I get you. <laughs> uh, there was this video game which I've never played because it will become apparent in a second. Um, but I've always wanted it, where it's this game that comes with a controller that is like an entire cockpit of a mech. Mm-hmm. And to like start the game, you have to go through the entire like launch sequence. So you got to go like flip, 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 flip. Is it Steel Battalion? Is that the name? Yeah, I don't know anything about the game except that it has all of these ridiculous controls. And you just have to, you know, go through this entire sequence when you want to do stuff, which is just awesome. <laughs> yeah, Steel Battalion for anybody who really wants to be a mech pilot. Um, this game has so many variables. But that's, you know, that's coding. Um, so if uh you have not started the battle then we are going to start the battle uh, when the status bar is destroyed um so set battle started too true um yeah so the status bars have a slightly longer lifespan than the um, explosion animations so i'm using those guys as the flag um and once they vanish off the screen we're gonna do a battle um haven't really figured out the whole battle thing yet but um <laughs> We could just do a lot you of explosions. Sorry? We could just do a lot of explosions. That's pretty much what a mech battle is, right? We could do a lot of explosions. I feel like we should have a big thing, like, rise up out of the, um, from the side. With a, mm-hmm. oh. with a screen change. So, like, yeah. yeah. The controller had 44 inputs. <laughs> okay. Okay, story. This is probably the game I've made with the most extensions in it up there okay so i'm gonna set um uh, i could have just set it to enemy i guess kaijus aren't enemies they're their own thing (laughs) um and i want it to be like big big so um our screen is 120 tall, so I'm going to make this guy, like, 17. And then, uh, like, oh, whoops. Would, would the mama you fit in this one? I think it's too small. <laughs> Wasn't there a big, big one? I don't remember. Um, There's a big one. Up? Yeah, but I think it's, yeah, it's only 30. Or is this not the big one? That, that's the baby one. Oh. Yeah, no. Go back. Um, it's standing oh, right one. there in the center. <gasps> 77 yeah. by 76. Mm, I worry it looks too nice <laughs> relative to all of our other things. Uh, maybe, like, yeah. maybe, maybe fill it with red. <laughs> fill it with red? That'll look angrier. Mm, okay, I'm gonna leave it as yellow for now, and then um, we're gonna try and do this thing, and then I don't know, maybe we'll swap in like other art later. Um, so uh, I'm gonna start a camera shake. I'm going to create this sprite. I'm going to set the sprite position to be off screen. Um, set the kaiju um, position to. Um, so y will be um 20 like um plus 30 is like 160 and i'm gonna set the x to be like 120 is all right and then using the story i'm going to move move to awesome New kaiju. Um, so just straight up, um, one sixty. Nope. 
I need to like mm, halfway 60. So let's do seven. Let's do 80 with and then not very fast. So 40. And I'm going to camera shake, um, not by very much, but for like a long time. All right, let's try this real quick and just see how all these numbers play out. <laughs> um, hmm. Needs to be in a separately do? The move to, yeah. yes. Yes, so one more extension. Or just put it inside the cutscene. Yeah, start cutscene. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. Story has this. Perfect. All right, and then the other thing I'm going to do is this X is Y is wrong. I can see it. <laughs> cool. Um, it needs to camera shake for a little bit longer. Um, and then I think um, Z index for the kaiju maybe. What if it did like this? Then the camera moved over and then it came up. So that you're on the left side of the screen and it's on the right, you know? Ooh, oh. yeah. Um, instead of doing that, I'm just going to move the Mac over, and I think it should be the yeah. Same. It will look uh, the same, yes. Yeah. So I'm going to set... So I think I should be able to just move the legs and everything should be fine. Um, so the legs are 16, which means the Y is currently at um, 112. And I'm going to move... Um, do this a little bit fast. So speed equals... Mm, 70 and I'll move it over to X is like all right one more time oh nope got the um y equals 112 what's wrong with that those legs look tall Oh, they are tall. You're right. How tall are the legs? Yep. The images. No, they are 16 by oh. 16. What's happening? Mm. Okay, well, I'll just move them lower, I guess. Just put in leg part Y. Oh, yeah. Wise. <laughs> cool. Okay. One more time. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Um, X equals. Yeah. Okay. This is good. Um, so then, um, yeah, I don't really know. <laughs> um, we'll just do some like projectiles from the kaiju. Um, I think we should spend this time trying to make a kaiju cry. Trying to make a kaiju cry? Like, they take ah! oh. oh. <laughs> like a shriek cry, not like a tears yes. in your eyes. Take like a melody and put in a tempo of like, 2000 and then just chain a few of them with some some things and then go get something fun okay you guys aren't going to be able to hear this i don't think oh no really uh i don't Didn't think share. i shared sound but you can you can reenact it for us right yeah of course <laughs> oh wait no i have this muted also <laughs> give you one sec not incognito website. <laughs> it just sounds like it just sounds like really fast dial up. 
Um, you guys can't hear it, right? No. No. It's like. What if there was also like <laughs> low pitches that went up at the same time? Oh. Oh, at the same time. Okay. Yeah, you know, I'm sure Kaiju has like you know more developed vocal cords than us. <laughs> Okay, that will I can whistle too cut scene, cut scene's Q. Hmm? Oh, that one oh. is. Ah, oh, okay. So I do need the um But no, Melody doesn't block, right? No, it does. It does. Ah, oh, all right. Timer is more extensions. <laughs> <laughs> Let the extensions flow through me. <laughs> This is a good idea. It's a good idea to make a music thing when no one else can hear it. Um, well, we can hear it if you reenact it properly. I'm not sure this is going to sound like a kind of um, <laughs> after. Um, okay. <laughs> um, okay, and then I'm going to repeat these a couple times. <laughs> Does it sound good? Um, it sounds like something. I feel like if one of the music people were doing this, it would sound better. <laughs> uh, we need to put the separately do before, right? Yes, you are correct. Okay, so Kaiju's going to do a roar. Um... And I'm just gonna make some big text that says start battle, uh, and then we'll be done. Um. Okay, Richard, you do the low pitches, and I'll do the high pitches, and we'll do a dramatic reenactment for our viewers. Ready? All right, Joey, Joey count us out. <laughs> Five, four, three, this two, down so slow. one. <laughs> Did it sound like that, Shannon? Um, a little bit, yeah. Mm. <laughs> okay, all right. Um, yes. Oh yeah, absolutely. You guys, it sounds much better, is what I would say. Oh, I can make it sound worse than what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> Did you picture it like? We're okay. We're okay. <laughs> I just you should picture as if like a dial-up modem was a kaiju. It's the thing you should be imagining in your head. Robot. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> That's close. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right. Uh, thank you guys so much for joining us. Um, I'm Shannon. I'm at Shakao on the Make Code forums. I'm Hassan at Hassan on the Make Code Forum. I'm Joey at J Wonderl on the Make Code Forums. I'm Mecca Richard. I replaced Richard. <laughs> and I'll, I'll defeat Mecca Richard. I'm I'm Kaiju Vivian at Love Triple on the Make Code Forums. Mecca Richard laughs at this challenge. What? Said Mecca Richard laughs at this challenge. Oh, okay. I thought this was fighting. I was like, I'll fight you. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>